Getting to the bus this morning and uh, seeing these coaches walk on, just the energy, the atmosphere, the excitement. And you can tell Coach Franklin is ready to go and uh, looking forward to meeting all these incredible alums across this area. So the, the energy is, has been fantastic already. Yeah, um, you know, I think right away you can, you can see the personality. Uh, he's so genuine, wants to know about you, your family, your sport, and his passion for Penn State. I mean, I'm a, I grew up in the area. My folks are both Penn State alums, and so I grew up with a similar type of fashion, but he is, uh, everything about him just exudes passion, and it gets you excited. It gets you excited, and it, even in my eighth year, it's this, this, this renewed excitement for this university, and uh, he certainly passes that along everywhere he goes right now. So there's less roster spots for your team, but how important is it to have a local player, to have Penn State players in the roster? Obviously, we're interested about Sierra Moore joining well, join yeah, the, the Sierra, roster. Yes, um, Sierra, I'm really, really thrilled to, to have Sierra. Um, you know, she's, she's, for us, a local kid, and um, she's going to bring a lot of energy, a lot of passions, a tremendous amount of uh, elect, uh, athleticism and electrifying playmaking ability. Um, so we're, we're really thrilled to have her on the roster, and I think our fans are gonna gonna love watching her play and, and love watching her style. Everybody has reasons for it not working out at a particular school, but how early did you know maybe you know she wouldn't be a fit for Duke, and that it would be possible that she'd be joining you guys? You know, I thought she was a great fit for Penn State um, during the recruiting process. I thought she was a great fit for Penn State as we got to know her. Um, and when she called and said that she wanted to come back home, we still felt she was a great fit for Penn State. And um, this year, being on campus, did nothing but, but prove um, that to be true, that, I mean, she's really a Penn State uh, kid through and through. And, um, you know, again, she's, she's just going to be a wonderful fit. She's been a wonderful fit for our team. So, Keith, what kind of role do you expect her to play off the bat next year? Well, you know, when you look at what we've lost this year from our senior class, we, we lost a lot of production. And so I think Sierra's going to be one of those kids who can come in and, and who's going to be a very productive, statistically productive player for us on both ends of the floor. And she can do so many things. She was a tremendous score in high school, scored over 2,500 points, you know, at the Long Catholic. And, um, you know, that scoring prowess we're definitely going to need as we look to replace our senior class. Hey, James, what, uh, what ways have you, uh, have you been able to really get out of the community? Uh, other than like in like these sort of set piece kind of public events, like have you had much of a chance to really sort of do it on an individual like level in any way? No, no, not a whole lot. Um, somebody asked me about the house that, that we're buying, where it's at and what the address is. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I, I swear to God, I, 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 I couldn't tell you. Um, I, I'm usually texting or emailing in the car with the real estate agent and I look up and there it is. We went and looked at a house the other day. We got to dinner. I've been to there's like four restaurants in town that I've been to almost every other night. Um, I did go to Wegmans. Everybody makes a huge deal out of Wegmans. I did go to Wegmans the other day to get apples. I got five apples and it took me about an hour and a half. I will never do that again. Um, but not a whole lot. You know, um, you guys have heard of this pathetic existence that I have of living in my office. Um, and um, it's been good from a work production standpoint, but I got to get my family here. You know, um, I got to get some balance in my life. You know, skyping every single morning and every single evening with my kids is great. Um, you know, but it's not the same. You know, as hugging your kids and spending time with your wife and, and family. So that needs to happen sooner than, rather than later. But um, you know, they're they're finishing up school, and I think a lot of us, you know, you hear that plan. Oh, they're going to stay and finish up school, and I think. In theory, it, it's the right plan, but living it is not not a great situation. So, I need to get my family here as soon as I possibly can. You had a bad Wegmans experience. I had a great Wegmans experience. Um, really did. It's the first time I'd been over. I drove across the street, got my car washed, which was exciting as well, and <laughs> went into Wegmans and. Uh, oh, it was fans. That's why it's cooking. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. No. I had I a thought, great. Yeah, Wegmans I thought you experience. got a long line in a row. <laughs> no. The apples were delicious. Actually, we, we ate them. Somebody tweeted out we ate them on the bus ride here. I brought five. I thought they were gonna last a week, but the guys on the bus crushed them. Warming had about four. So. Uh, <laughs> so no, it was just you know a bunch of people coming up wanting to say hi and say good luck, and everybody's so excited and supportive, and that's what's so unique, unique and excited about being at a place like Penn State. But yeah, it took it took an hour and a half because. It, 
Don't they look at your basket and see what you're finding? No, because all I had was a bag of apples. Oh. And I was just trying to get it in and out, but that didn't, that didn't work out real well. James, uh, the ball, I love people. I'm a people person. I've always been a people person. Why? Like my entire life. I think you are? I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, I've always been somebody that appreciates getting to know people and studying body language. I think that's why I always was attracted to psychology, but I've always been a people person since I was a kid. I don't, I don't know. Um, what were you like when you were a kid that way? I was all over the place. I mean, I was the guy that was, you know, probably like a lot of us. I was out of the house first thing in the morning. My sister was different. She'd sleep till one o'clock, you know, and if I did that, I would wake up and feel like the day's been wasted. I was gone in the morning. I was playing all day long until mom screamed for me to come in the house. And, and um, I, I think probably, you know, maybe what factors into it, I had a lot of people that, you know, really looked out for my family and looked out for me and had a positive influence. I think I learned early on, you know, the difference that people can make in other people's lives. So I've kind of been attracted to that. But, you know, the job, I guess what I would say is all these, par all of these things are part of the job the recruiting, the coaching, the academics, the getting out into the, the community, interacting with the media, they're all parts of the job. And I'm going to have to do them one way or another, so why not embrace them and enjoy them and have fun with it? You know, um, I, I've always been interested in, in people and getting to know their story and what makes them tick and why, and, and, and we all have a story, you know, and that's, I, I don't know, I can't tell you why, you know, I don't know why some people are introverted. Maybe it's it's nature or nurture. I don't know. We're getting off and going in a whole other direction now, but uh, this is just kind of who I am. Well, it is May. We've got some time. Yeah, James, exactly. As a people person, how difficult is it when you're overwhelmed going to Wegmans and 800 people? You, you, it sounds like you like to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody, and it seems like that's very difficult in the position that you have right now. Well, I, I wouldn't say overwhelmed, but what I will tell you is this. You look overwhelmed at the Little League game. <laughs> yeah, because I went off script and I invited all the kids to come take a picture and it became a mosh pit. And I was afraid that somebody was going to get squashed and that wouldn't go over very well. Um, my issue is a lot of people say that they don't care what other people think. I do. So when I go to Wegmans and 45 people come up to say hi, I don't want anyone that come, comes up to leave not having a really good impression about me, about Penn State football, about the university. So it's hard to walk away or walk away from an autograph or walk away from anything because I want everybody that has an interaction with Penn State football or have an interaction with me for it to be positive. And that's not always possible because at some point you have to walk away. Um, but that's kind of my personality. I want, you know, I want to leave a good impression on everybody. People are important to me and what people think are important to me. I think that's a strength. I think that probably could be a weakness a little bit as well. James, why do you